Hello friends and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to create your first project in DaVinci Resolve 18. DaVinci Resolve 18 is a great, 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 and I can't find, you know, better words how amazing this uh, editing software is. And it's absolutely for free. Um, uh, but you know, I have a lot of videos on DaVinci Resolve 18, so you know, click here or there and you'll you'll find a lot of videos about DaVinci Resolve 18 and why I switched actually from Final Cut Pro to DaVinci Resolve 18 and being a creator and being a filmmaker for the last you know six seven years I've realized that DaVinci Resolve is the way to go to be a better professional and a better artist and a filmmaker but let's not talk too much and let us go straight to the computer and open the first project in DaVinci Resolve 18. Let's assume you've already downloaded DaVinci Resolve 18 and then you now want to create a new project, your first project. Fine, so when you open DaVinci Resolve 18, you know, you click on it and this page is going to show on your screen. Obviously, you can see I've got a few projects here. I've been using DaVinci Resolve 18 for the last year, I think, and you know, it's great. It's it's such a complicated uh, software, but at the same time, when you learn, it's so rewarding because you can create things that you wouldn't be able to create with Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is my honest opinion, and from my experience, that what I've realized. Okay, so when you have this screen over here, obviously you won't see all these projects over here because these are my projects, but you will see uh, this uh, um, icon over here that's going to tell you Untitled Project. You click here and then Let's see what's gonna happen. You see, that's a new project uh, just started, just like that, okay? And if you're here and if you don't know how to go back, in the corner over here, uh, you'll see this little house. Click here and this uh, project uh, settings will, uh, will, 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 uh, will show up. You know, this, this is the, the project library, this is the local database. So basically all these uh, icons here, all these projects that are stored in your local database. And you have to understand that the local database is just, just the addresses, just the, 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 the details of the project are stored there. And they're probably um, worth like a few megabytes. It, it's not taking like a lot of space. You have to understand that. So there are two ways. So you either click on this icon over here or um, you just um, right click and um, click on new project. So put new project and then this way, I think it's a better way to do this way because you can actually uh, name your project, I don't know, let's say project one. Okay, so you click project one and you click create and then straight away you'll see that um, uh, the, the project is created. And then you're gonna go to media and then you'll start importing your media. I know it's a little bit confusing when you open your first project, but by now I'm sure you've seen a lot of video tutorials on how to import media. But it's actually pretty simple. So if you go on the left uh, corner over here on the screen, you can choose from where to um, import your media. And actually what's pretty cool about DaVinci Resolve, you can actually add new locations. So let's say uh, you are working with a, um, you know, with a portable hard drive. So you go add location and then you can add your portable hard drive. Let's say mine is Extreme Pro. I've already uh, added mine here, you see? You're gonna go to media, you know, you've got all this um, compartments here of the DaVinci Resolve 18, but we're gonna talk about this in the future videos. For now, again, go back to uh, the little uh, house here, and then let's say you've been working on a project and you want to archive the project. It's actually pretty simple. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna come here and you're going to export the project and also what you can do, you can export the project as an archive, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. Let's say you want to export this project with an, with an, as an archive, and then what's gonna show you here, when I put save, is going to ask me uh, if I want to archive the render files, the proxy media, or just the media files and everything that's in it. It's a pretty cool way to save the projects with all the different media, or the files, let's say you're working on a project that 
you know, you're using two or three hard drives and then using media from anywhere, you know, uh, different folders. And then what an archive does, it copies all these files from different locations and it puts in one folder that DaVinci Resolve uh, will recognize and will save it in one place, which is pretty cool because sometimes, you know, you're working on different projects, let's say where you work, or you work on a project and you open it after two, three years and then, you know, you've got this missing files. And I think archiving this way is a genius way to do it. And then, you know, all these files will be in one place. Um, with, with Final Cut Pro, I realized, uh, you know, I was spending and wasting a lot of time trying to look for these files when I opened, uh, you know, the projects in two, three years time. So this is actually a pretty cool way to archive. And, you know, normally what I do, I would archive, you know, it's if it's a very important project of mine, then obviously I will archive with, you know, all the files. But sometimes I want to just save a project and I know my files are separately saved on my drive. I don't want to copy the the files twice, which is you know pretty cool. I mean, it depends what you want to do. So it's actually pretty simple, you know. That's everything you know you, you need to know of um, you know creating a new um, project in DaVinci Resolve 18. And then let's go again, Project One. As I open it, um, so you know you can import now all your media, and then you create new bins. And then you can name the bins. Um, so it's 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 pretty incredible. But just to have an, an an idea of how this works, let me go back to this little house and you know open. Let's say how I shoot a product B-roll. Open this and then and then you're gonna see how easy it is to organize your media in in bins. You see, you can have different timelines. You have the music here, the voiceover, the sound effects, and then you know you've got all this. Um, um, little folders with, you know, different footage. And even if the footage is in one place, you can still put them in different bins. So this way you know exactly where the, the footage is. So, but you know, I will try and make more videos about um, DaVinci Resolve 18 as I go, because I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I love this software and Every single time when I learn something or I find out, I would like to share this with you guys because, you know, it makes me happy. This, this is what I do. This is what I like to do. And there you have it, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you found it uh, useful. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And, uh, you know, if you like what I do here, you know, just leave a comment below and, and you know, let me know. Uh, what are your thoughts about DaVinci Resolve 18? Will you use it? And, um, you know, what sort of, you know, interesting things you found out by using a different editing software? Uh, because we know like Final Cut Pro, I was a very like heavy user before. Uh, and if, even if I paid 300 um, uh, pounds for it, you know, I, I don't think I got so much, you know, value from Final Cut Pro as I get from DaVinci Resolve 18, even if uh, most of the tools I use in DaVinci Resolve 18 are free. So yeah, thanks so much guys for watching. I really appreciate your company. I really appreciate you being here and watching my videos. And I will uh, see you next time with uh, many more videos regarding DaVinci Resolve 18. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Take care.